Where are you? Are you in the attic? I'm in my, my little home office, full, full of mementos of my glorious career. Look at oh. this. Did you do Tom to Tom? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think he likes it, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Did it top you doing Tony Hopkins to Tony Hopkins? Well, see, there's the thing. You can call him Tony Hopkins. He's still Sir Anthony, Sir Anthony. to me. That was one of the best moments of my life, getting in a car with him and telling him how Steve and I had done him in the trip to Italy as Captain Bly. And he started doing that to me in the car. He was sat driving and he was going, Turn your back on me, Mr. Fire. Damn your eyes, sir. Damn your eyes. <laughs> I'm literally back at him going, Don't turn your back on me, sir. <laughs> never mind sitting in a car with Anthony Hopkins. You've acted with him, which I've never done. What was that like? Terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. You're face to face with Mr. Stevens and his racy book, you know, and Tannibal Lecter. Yeah. I was definitely, for, for those six months in Rome, a babbling idiot around him, which it got to, I'm sure it got to the point he was just avoiding me because as much as you desperately try not to ask him questions or feel your feel yourself kind of going, ah, Miss Kenton, you know, like you go, you're like, <laughs> we're doing Titus Andronica, so the part itself called, called for all this bluster. It was like Gale Force Hopkins, you know? And when you see him in full storm and you're standing next to him, it's equal part thrilling and terrifying. <laughs> We've got so much to talk about. We've crossed over curiously with each other. The last time myself and Mr. Bryden were let loose together was when none other than Neil Diamond made his return to Erasmus High School in Brooklyn. And we were there. There we are at the show in the audience. Ah, the world ahead of us. But you already had a curious Neil Diamond link, didn't you? Yeah, I went to his wedding. <laughs> Did he sing at his own wedding? No. And I think there was an expectation that he would. And he's like, not on your Nelly. <laughs> So you and I went to watch him launch this album at Erasmus High School where he went with Barbara Streisand. And I always yeah. remember we were then being driven back into Manhattan and we start doing voices and we start to do Richard Burton. I, I think this will be pretty good. And I'm doing my Richard Burton and I'm going, oh, what a piece of work's man and form and being, la, la, la. And then you start doing your Richard Burton and I shut up pretty quickly. Because your Burton is by far the finest Burton I have ever heard. Ah, uh, coming from you, that's one of the greatest accolades I've ever received. <laughs> the viewer would love a glimpse. Well, now I'm terrified. Rob Bryden has put me on a small stage, albeit internetically, <clears throat> to be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune order to take arms against the sea of rage and by opposing in them.